Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to share with you my recipe for making brown rice flour cakes using the OG PF Tech method. For this example, I grew Cordyceps militaris, but it is better suited for the funny mushrooms. First, I decide which size jar I'm going to use, and then I modify the lids. I use a hole punch to make five holes in the lid. The four holes around the outside are covered with RTV silicone to act as an injection port, and the hole in the middle is an air exchange hole covered in two pieces of micropore tape. The recipe and ratio that you want to use is two parts vermiculite, one part water, and one part brown rice flour. To fill these 6 pint jars or 12 half pint jars, I mix together 6 cups of vermiculite, 3 cups of water, and 3 cups of brown rice flour. I found it best to mix the water and vermiculite first so that it's evenly coated by the moisture, that way when you add the brown rice flour it doesn't clump. I mix the substrate each time before adding the next cup of brown rice flour. After it's all mixed, I start loading up the jars and I leave a little bit of space at the top of each jar. After the jars are filled, I add a few spoonfuls of vermiculite to the top to act as a contamination barrier. Then I attach the modified lid and they're ready for sterilization. You 
can pressure cook at 15 psi for 30 minutes or you can steam sterilize in a pot of water for two hours. After the jars have been sterilized and cooled down, they are ready to be inoculated. This can be done in open air and doesn't need a still air box or a laminar flow hood. Just make sure to wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol. If you use a new needle out of the packaging, it's already sterile so you won't need to flame sterilize it. I inject 1 to 2 milliliters into each injection port. The mycelium from all four injection sites will grow all around the jar and connect together. This will result in a faster colonization time because we can't really shake the jar. After about one week of growing at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, you can see the white patches of mycelium at each of the injection sites. Cordyceps militaris has an orangish yellow mycelium and other species of mushrooms will have white mycelium. This is what a jar of normal mushroom mycelium will look like when it's almost fully colonized. After the jar is fully colonized, the brown rice flour cake is removed, rinsed, and dunked in water overnight. After the brown rice flour cakes have been soaked overnight, they are rinsed, dried off with a paper towel, and then rolled in wet vermiculite. This is called the Duncan Roll. After the cakes have been dunked overnight and rolled in vermiculite, they are ready to be placed inside of a fruiting chamber. Make sure you set the cakes on top of a little circle of aluminum foil that is cut to the size of the cake. I just uploaded a video on how to make this shotgun fruiting chamber so I'll make sure to leave that link in the description below.
Now all you have to do is spray the sides of the fruiting chamber with a mister bottle and fan it three times per day and you'll have mushrooms in no time. It usually takes around 7 to 14 days to start seeing the first signs of fruiting. When I was a beginner, this was the method that I used to grow my very first mushrooms from a spore syringe and I was so excited so I'm happy to share it with all of you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or you can join the new Mushroom Cultivation Discord community which I'll leave a link for in the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more mushroom cultivation videos.